gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I go in every day thinking it'll be, I have a very positive outlook on how things will be. And cinch up that tie, close up that, <laughs> yeah. close up that briefcase. And then ready to go. I had on and walk down the hallway. Walk on out the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. I think we're on the internet now. Yes. And I got to admit, this is boy. This is the first time I've I've seen hairless Bruce. Hairless Bruce. Hairless Bruce. Ha ha! I am hairless. It's fantastic. Wait, I I'm not even cl clicked into the right tab. Where are you? Uh, if you just go, go to twitch.tv slash sirlar, or twitch.tv slash Bruce Green. There you are. Oh my god, you look like a little egg. <laughs> yeah! You're an egg man! I'm an egg. Um, yeah, it's great. Oh man. Wait, so... How does it feel? Describe let, it all to me. You let Twitch shave you? Is that what happened? That's exactly right. So, um, I did a, a form of crowd control, but it was with subs, and if they got to certain levels, I would shave off parts of my... Basically, like, oh god. a portion of my hair. And, Lawrence, it feels... Were eyebrows on the list? Eyebrows were on the list, but they were way down the list. Like, they would have had to hit, like... Because I googled it, and I found out that eyebrows take four to six months to grow back. If you shave Ooh. them off. And I was, yeah. I was like, nah, I won't be doing that unless it's some crazy goal. Um, but, uh, Lawrence, it feels fantastic. I was driving in the car the other day, and it felt like a million cold fingers were touching my head. I love this. That was great. <laughs> Can I suggest something? Oh, please. Uh, this is the Talk to the Internet Challenge of the Week. Uh -huh. uh, by the way, welcome to Talk to the Internet, a podcast where we talk to the Internet. <laughs> um, sorry, I didn't mean to steer your thunder it's there. It's getting Bruce. lazier and lazier. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a groove right now. I'm in a mood, and I don't want to disrupt it, no, so don't. I apologize. Don't. I could have I summoned up the fire for the intro, but I, I thought we'd just take a ride through Groove Town. Um, Bruce, I, I have a challenge for you. Please. I, w I want you to go into your go into your refrigerator. All right. Find find like a a gallon of milk, and pour it all on your scalp. Oh, like directly on top of your head. That's a really good idea. So wait, why does it have to be milk first of all? Why is that a good idea? That's a good idea because it'll feel like, it'll feel great. It'll f I feel like it might put you in like sensory overload. Yeah. yeah. Um, milk because I feel like milk is the funniest liquid that's probably in Bruce's fridge. Oh, I don't have milk. I have. Uh... Damn it. I have, I could, you know what I could do is freeze a bottle of vodka. And then I might- That might get in your eyes. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, yeah. But then I was going to say, I may, I may get sort of drunk because it absorbs through my scalp. Like a butt, Ooh. like a butt chug, kind of. Ah, oh, you could like soak a towel in it and then make a nice little head wrap? I'm, you know what, I'm going to do that. I've been taking cold showers for years because it's really good for you. Um, but I'm going to make it even colder and also pour some milk over my head in the shower. To see how it feels, because it's gonna feel great. It's gonna, I know it will. Um, have you guys ever shaved your head and, and or face in the summer? No. No? Really? I, I haven't, no. I, um, let's see. I've cut my hair shorter in the summer. I think at one point, uh, when I was, <laughs> I think at one point when I was like 13 or 14, uh, I, we, I grew up in a, a cut hair at home household. Yeah. Uh, so I knew where the hair clippers were. Um, or the hair buzzer, or whatever it's called. Anyway, um, after watching Mission Impossible 1, I thought, I can give myself that haircut. All you gotta do is cut your hair. Just make make it short. It's pretty easy. So I went in and basically Bobby Hilled myself. Uh, <laughs> just like, total total buzz cut all around. Um, but that was during summer, and I do recall it being very refreshing. Uh, but uh, it was also, yeah, the sun, I think that's the first time I got a scalp burn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Which is, uh, yeah. nothing makes you feel more like just a marshmallow of a human being, like the top of your head getting irritated from the sun. <laughs> yep. It's like you're not even, we're not even supposed to be outside. How did we grow up on this planet? Uh, I mean, we are supposed to be outside, but I got a terrible sunburn when I was at the beach over, uh, holiday weekend because I hadn't, I realized I had not been out like in direct sunlight for more than like, you know, what, 10 minutes possibly for the last four months. And so I was sitting in the car driving, didn't move my arm for an hour and immediately was sunburned, like right away. And I, then I realized quarantine is the worst thing. and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'd already realized that months ago, <laughs> I still don't like it. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I got it. I managed to not get a sunburn on my scalp, but I got it all over the rest of my body because that's 
I put it on my scalp because like I'll remember my scalp, but then I didn't remember any other part of my body because I'm stupid. So, <laughs> but man, I got a, uh, <laughs> I so I, man, all these all these stories require a significant wind up. So I apologize. I ordered these exor exercise shorts from Amazon, but when you're buying things online and you can't see it or hold it, you really have no idea what the scale of it is. That's right. Um, yeah. I've noticed this when buying groceries, like I'll accidentally get five pounds of oranges because I have no idea how many pounds an orange is, uh, and then just have oranges for a month. Anyway, uh, so I bought these shorts that ended up being just the teeniest little short shorts. Ooh. Um, yeah, I still use them because, you know, I bought them and they're actually pretty good. But uh, I, would, I would always wear like knee length, almost like a basketball shorts when I worked out. And these, these were, they covered the cheek, but not much more. <laughs> Uh, so there's there was the what is it the absolute zone was fully exposed and Just by walking to the gym and back which was I want to say about a 15 minute walk the backs of my legs got sunburned oh, wow. because The like the the under cheek area had never kissed the Sun for way too long mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense That makes a lot of sense. again marshmallow of a person I thought I was getting like tough and big by going to the gym and then something's got to put me in my place like that. You got to burn on your ass cheeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just by walking down the street. I didn't even fight anything. <laughs> fight it. Damn it. Um, Nutbuster asked why it's cracking in a dark room. Because mm. we don't know either. So explain. Explain to That's us. Good question. Ooh. Well, this is the probably the single most like first world problem that I have ever encountered. Mm -hmm. And I think anyone... Uh, can possibly encounter and that is that um, as some of you may know I have a very uh, elaborate setup with my fancy lights in my room which allow me to change their color uh, their you know intensity um, a bunch of really awesome customization stuff for like a green screen whatever I want um, and recently uh, I've been having some internet trouble where my Ethernet cable works but basically my Wi-Fi no longer connects. Um, and unfortunately, these lights are controlled exclusively <laughs> by the Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in a unique situation now where I have all these lights in my room that I cannot turn on or turn off because uh, they don't have a Wi-Fi to connect to. So I am just in permanent darkness. Last night I was streaming and I couldn't see my keyboard and <laughs> it, uh, it's just it's bad news out here. So I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to live my life. But, you know, quarantine's really hitting hard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kraken, I'm, uh, I'm, yes. I'm gonna blow your mind right now because I I've already come up with a solution to your problem. Does your phone turn into a hotspot? It might. Doesn't that use data though? I don't want to like. It does use data. Charge. But I'm how much spend data? Thirty bucks to turn lights on. How much data <laughs> could a Wi-Fi light possibly use? Okay, the issue is it has to connect. The Wi-Fi lights only work by connecting to the modem, so I have to be on the same Wi-Fi as these lights. I can't oh, be somewhere else. Oh no! <laughs> which to me is a fundamental flaw in their technology yeah, because so if rude. I left my lights on and I leave the house, I can't turn them off because I have to be on the same Wi-Fi as them. So. I don't know what their plan was there, but that's why I can't connect anything because I, <laughs> you know, okay, hold on. I, I am on a Wi-Fi right now. I just noticed that. You're on a, but you don't know what Wi-Fi you're on? It is not the right Wi-Fi. I, I don't know. Okay. You know what? Just never mind. Just <laughs> move on. <laughs> move on? All right. Wait, no, we, we, we just got five episodes into a, or five minutes into an episode of Black Mirror. We can't stop I now. I thought you were going to solve this problem. Yeah. Apparently... There's more, there's more than one Wi-Fi that is being sent from my modem. Well, I think one's five, 5G, is that? Oh, oh no, no. so only one band? No, you, yeah, you're thinking of five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah, so one of them works, the other one doesn't. One of them says it oh. works, but doesn't actually have internet connection. So it, it is telling my phone that it's connected, but it is in fact not connected. I get that. And this app is, is very angry about that. So, you know, it's just the whole thing, okay? And we're just gonna have to deal with it for today. I hope by next week, um, I'll be in the light again. But <laughs> in the light, now, in the light again. <laughs> I have I have my curtain open, 
There was a little bit of light shining through. I my my chat had to remind me of that. I was like, I'm in complete darkness, and guys are like, guys, it's it's 3 p.m. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, it's 3 p.m. Open the curtain, and I did. I'm like, oh, the sun's still out. <laughs> Jeez, oh my god, you you're getting less sun than I am, some because I sit next to a bunch of windows. Yeah, I know. Of course, I am. I mean, you live in a in in the the outside basically I You're do. like halfway outside I work in the outside it's 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 actually pretty nice I would stream outside all the time if I could if there was a setup that I could all hack I could have completely outside I think I would do that cuz I love being outside Lawrence knows this whenever I whenever we yeah, had, just get a ton of drills well yeah, that's true when, just punch it right through the wall man well whatever Easy. whenever we had offices at Funhouse or Inside Gaming I was always looking for the window I was one of the window cuz it makes me feel good I don't know that I a lot of people I don't know that a lot of people don't feel that way or not but is that crazy? Is that crazy to be next to a window in an office? No, it's been it's been pursued for years. That's like a mark of your career improving is that you get to look outside for a little bit. Okay, good. Um, All right. Yeah, you get to graduate from the cardboard cube to s something that reminds you you're still alive. All right, good. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> no, I've, I, I, I hereby validate. I'm, Man, that dog is getting in I'm there. I'm watching this dog hump this other dog who has just a dead-eyed look on its face. Just... <laughs> Oh man, that's how that's how that's how I feel. That's in, life, baby. That's how I feel in quarantine all the time. Um, twenty twenty. So, uh, all right, guys, what what what, ha what? Actually, I saw pictures of Lawrence on the roof. I want to know what happened to Lawrence on the roof. Oh, very little. Um, For there were people like there were people on my street that set off those big ass fireworks, so it like shook the house, which was pretty cool. And I got to be on the roof while that happened. No, I. Uh, I learned my lesson. Also, I definitely had a ladder this year. Good. Um, which makes that way easier to get on and off of a roof successfully. Um, I drunk. I drank less, so there's that too. Uh, just wasn't able to. Um, uh, so yeah, it was it was a pretty normal fourth actually. Um, well, normal for me, I guess. I said I blew up blew up some stuff. Nice. Some very legal uh, demonstrative <laughs> fireworks. But yeah, uh, watch the uh, watch the Eurovision movie. I allowed myself a couple of cocktails because I've been on a crazy diet lately. Oh, good. And I don't know. I kind of I I learned a couple things. I learned that like binge drinking is just not fun anymore. <laughs> I just don't like it. Um, <laughs> so that's a chapter of my life that I guess is closed now. Yeah, Lawrence, it only took you um, thirty six years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Drank uh, was was crushing light beers the day out of the womb up until right now. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I guess no, I, I started. Started drinking when I was like 26 or 27. Mm. Um, and just went hard for a while because it's fun. Also, there's like the the physical toll is low when you're young. Um, now it's just, I don't know, it's just not worth having a stomach ache for a day. It's not. That's kind of where I'm at, yeah. It's really not. That's the one thing that I've learned with binge drinking. I With vodka, I can semi-handle. But if it's if any other whiskey, whatever, I'm fucked. I'm just fucked for an entire day. And then sometimes even the ne a little bit of the next day. So it's just like, oh, it's just too it. So I, I ought to be Kraken again. I ought to be 25 or how old of a old Kraken is. 22? I'm 26, Are you 20, actually. Are you 13? I, I always forget. Um, I'm 26. And you know from going out with me that I definitely still do binge drink. Um, you go hard, baby. I do go hard. Um, I've been trying to get better. I honestly, the last time I actually got really drunk was when we all hung out. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I I think it's only certain alcohols too that really get me. Um, look, I don't know. look, I'm not gonna here. I'm not gonna endorse drinking, but what I will say is there's something there's something to be said for getting drunk with your friends and feeling comfortable enough to. Mm -hmm. Like have a good time and really just kind of like let your hair down and obviously be safe about it, not drive and do any of that shit. But uh, I don't know. There's just something. There's something nice about it. You you, you kind of realize as you start drinking, and then you can and then you continue that there are specific moods that you hit um, when you're either when you're really you know like when you're out feeling comfortable or when you're uh, you're kind of worried about the crowd or you're worried about what's going to happen or you know who knows what you're going through in your life. Um, so it's. I, I am privileged, uh, Kraken, that you felt like you could get drunk here, and I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So, that's good. Thank you for, for providing a safe atmosphere for me to lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anytime.
Um, what did you do for? I'm the- also I'm I'm shockingly good at hiding my drink until I'm in a place where I'm away from people that are like I would you know care to see that I'm drunk. Yeah. And then and then it all goes to hell. I found myself so comfortable there. Um, what did you do for the fourth? Anything uh, anything fun? Uh, nope. I streamed. Oh, okay, right on. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was weird that there's just like LA just decimated its its air quality after yeah you know f- yeah. four months of it being better than it's ever been. Suddenly, and I would just like let's dump all this shit back in the air. <laughs> um, so I was just like, eh, I'd rather not breathe that. Could could you notice, or do you just watch air reports and stuff? Uh, I mean, I'm not as sensitive to to, to that stuff as others, but um, I could definitely notice when it was cleaner. It's just that I just didn't notice it was cleaner anymore. <laughs> hmm. I didn't. Yeah, I, I, only I get s- the same vibe. I only saw the reports. I, I actually didn't. I, will, I don't think I would have noticed <laughs> otherwise if I hadn't seen those reports. Man, it was it was creepy. I, Kraken, did you even watch the fireworks going off? Uh, I I took a quick peek at my hmm. apartment. Uh, I saw like three. I was like, all right, it is the fourth. And then I went back. <laughs> yeah, it's, I was I was wondering on on the night of the fourth because it's I crawl up on the roof so I can look at all the fireworks. It's like the coolest show ever. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of them going off, and after a while, you can see like a visible cloud forming of just oh yeah, combusted uh, gunpowder. Yeah. yeah. So and you can just smell it in the air. So I was curious uh, how I mean, how like I, to I, scale I how see. measurable that would be. Yeah, I mean I couldn't see a lot of it because of all the smoke in the air, like. Usually you can see very far in LA and see like all these different kind of boroughs firing their their fireworks, but I don't know what was up. Maybe it was just like foggy. That I couldn't tell if it was fog or actual smoke, but I actually couldn't see more than you know the immediate vicinity um, of fireworks. I mean, it was even pretty badass. I know that people since have done like Blade Runner edits of it, yeah. but it actually looked like that because of the haze of like yeah. a firework that went off in the distance would just be this orb. This flashy orb, it almost looked looked like thunder way in the yeah, distance. Yeah. God, it was wild. Uh, I don't remember it looking like that in previous years, even years that haven't had like uh, an unprecedented level of uh, of lack of toxins in the air. Yeah, it was uh, the thing I, I used to do. It was closed this year, but um, there's a spot by my house that I can basically walk up this really tall hill, and it's like a, it's a short hike, and then you can basically see that Blade Runner gif from the hill so you can see all of los Mm. angeles lighting off fireworks and for as crazy as our city is it looks really cool and the the blade runner thing that people are like oh my gosh la never does this that's not true they've done it every year i watch it every year when there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of fireworks going off all over the city um and it does look really really cool (laughs) so uh hey whatever we're crazy but it's cool I uh, just didn't get to see it this yeah. year because I could because the park was closed. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's all. Did see some stuff like a fire or uh, an apartment complex caught on fire and some other. Really? <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, of it. I'm there's sure of it. there's oh, no. <laughs> there were material casualties too. By the way, fireworks in LA are illegal. Just FYI. Yeah, they totally are. Um, <laughs> but it's the it's got to be the most widely broken law because yeah, it do, it does cause like property damage every year. Um, and this is also a very fire-prone area. Maybe not LA proper, considering it's covered yeah. in concrete. But uh, you know, this is a desert, and <laughs> we do explode things all over the place. So I don't know. It's it just feels like, boy, uh, maybe maybe we're more fatalistic than ever this year. So it's like, screw it, let's just blow everything up. I could see that. I think you're right, Lawrence. Um, it's it's just weird that because like every year I hear fireworks for so long. And I'm always like, where can I get the, because I want a fire. Where'd you get your fireworks, Lawrence? Where'd you get the fireworks from? Oh, uh, so I just had like sparklers and the little, little boys that like spin around on the ground. Oh, the little guys. Um, they weren't, they weren't like shoo, boom. But like there's, there's, there was a stand that opened up in the like, Before convenience you go store around the corner. Before Lawrence, what you're admitting to is a crime. And I have to advise <laughs> you as your it legal may be. counsel on this stream, you should not say anything that could be held against you in uh, any court of law. If this is the if this is the cost of patriotism, I pay it gladly. <laughs> Unless that cost is over thirty five dollars. Thirty five sounds good to me. We'll just cry. Can we have an agreement? Thirty five dollars. Um, 
Yeah, there was just a stand in the convenience store parking lot. They pop up all over. I don't know if that one was selling the big old boys that shoot up into the air and explode and like rattle, like set off car alarms, which happened a couple times. Jeez. Um, yeah, it, it was awesome. Uh, anyway, I had a great time. I thank you, everyone who smuggled in fireworks, even though that's illegal. <laughs> and people legitimately got hurt, I guess. That's, that's a real moral quandary right there. Loving fireworks, but also not wanting people to catch on fire. Hmm. I, look, hmm. you can light fireworks safely. I've done it before. <laughs> like, you can light it so that people or property doesn't get destroyed. That's a, that's a yeah. thing that you are able to do. Why not just light them underwater? Then you can't blow anything up. You know that, correct me, some fireworks are waterproof. You can light them and then drop them in the water and they'll explode. Like dynamite. Kind of like dynamite, but it was an M80 I got from Mexico. And cool. I lit it, threw it off a pier, and it, man, it was awesome. It was an explosion in the water. I didn't kill any fish or anything, but it was rad. How do you know that? How Are do you, you know sure? that? Are you sure? I thought that? it was pretty easy to blow up fish. I mean, it's pretty easy to blow up fish, but they weren't on the surface. Well, it, yeah, but do you think it was on the surface? Well, it, here's the thing. If I, if I had killed any fish, they would have floated up to the surface, right? They not didn't. unless they get decimated and they their atoms are reduced to <laughs> molecules. Are you saying the M80 no, I did, I that I bought for two dollars <laughs> vaporized the fish? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Man. That's a... Uh... Dude, fish are barely held together. Fish are essentially <laughs> water. <laughs> now they're that's... Just, they're just little... I don't know. That's not true at all. They're weak. That's not true. They, yeah. That is true. That is not true. You so, ever held a fish? It's squish. I, yes. Yeah, it squishes held, right away. I've held a fish. Um, here, if you can scream at a fish loud enough and it'll fall apart. Yeah. Really? That's why fishermen are so skilled to get those fish out of the They're water. Just constantly yelling? Without making them dissolve? Yeah, or screaming at them? <laughs> um, I, uh, I want to know where to... Here, okay. I want to know where to get fireworks. Someone get me fireworks. Because no, again, illegal. You also can't ask other people to break crimes for you. I, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like having to babysit you two. <laughs> Stop committing felonies. I want, well, people have been lighting fireworks for the last month and a half in Los Angeles. And I've been saying, how is this possible? And everyone in chat's like, Las Vegas and Arizona and New Mexico. People drove from, are you kidding me? People drove from New Mexico to bring fireworks to Los Angeles? Nobody did that. So who drove 10 hours to go get fireworks? I've seen people drive to Vegas and back for stupider reasons. No, yeah. that's a good, Far stupider. <laughs> that's to get drunk, though. Just only to get a bunch of fireworks? I mean, what if you got drunk and got fireworks? Oh my gosh, you're right. I never even thought of that. You could do both. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Catch a, catch a Blue Man Group show? That's a good day. <laughs> Man. Well, I mean, you can't do that now. Because Vegas is kind of... Oh, yeah. Isn't it kind of closed? Or maybe is it open? Closed? It's, I'm pretty sure it's open. Is really? it open? Yeah. I've, I mean, I've heard secondhand of people that went to Vegas last weekend. Holy shit. Um, yeah, you can do that. Wow. Well. I guess, I don't know if you have to wear masks or not, but it, you have, oh God, please, please. Uh, coming from a man who uh, binge drank for years and uh, blow stuff up, does illegal things all the time, please wear a mask. Yeah. That's, that's a risk even I'm not willing to take. I, it's... Lawrence, is, I'm kind of the same way. I'm, I'm like a civil disobedience type of person where like if I get a, like a parking ticket, I'll fight the parking ticket till the very end and all that sort of bullshit because I don't <laughs> want to pay like because I pay my taxes, you know, like I don't fucking go around those. Regardless, wear a mask. Like if you're near people, if you're indoors and you're near people, wear a fucking mask. It's like it's it's just one of those things where it's so simple. Um, and because like yeah. everyone, everyone else is like, you know, like, oh, you gotta, you have to wear a mask at all times. And I'm like, no, if you're alone outside or if you're alone in your house, you don't have to wear a mask. It'll be fine. But yeah. if you run it, if you're going to run into other people, just throw the mask on for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, at this point, it's not even like for, if you if you're worried about yourself, that's one thing. But you should be doing it purely to be kind to other people. It's like the same as, you know, you wouldn't like I'm trying to think of a good comparison. It's like holding the door for someone. I don't know. It, it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. just pure. It's just pure human decency. Yeah. Uh, I'm Love says they are a Vegas local and masks are mandated in casinos. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Although it's like, I mean, I, you, I don't know. Pe I people like a lot smoke. Of hand sandy for that. Uh, for all those, those buttons oh, and, yeah. and 
were yeah, losing all the equipment, yeah, and Olympics. then just all the people like drinking and smoking. Um, I don't know how you do that with a mask, so I assume they're not mask all the time. Uh, I don't know. Just knowing people, it's like they might walk in with a mask, they'll cozy up to their slot machine, and once they get like one uh, one rum and coke, then the yeah. mask is like around the neck, and they're just sipping and <laughs> playing, which sounds awesome. And you know God what, bless you. I wish you know I were there too. Make, they should make a mask with a little blowhole in the middle, oh. so you can easily toke your cigarette uh, <laughs> through a, a nice convenient hole, and then you know when your face catches fire, then you'll. <laughs> You'll stop smoking, and it's going to be a good thing. Or, or like you could put a straw. How about just a mask with a straw built into it? Ooh! So then you just jam like the straw. Elephant. Yeah, you just exactly like you just jam the straw in any drink, and then you can drink and be safe at the same time. I'm in. I'm in. All right, good. Let's. I want. Let's make the elephant mask. <laughs> Does that already exist? Let's all. I'm sure someone's thought of it. I'm sure. Yeah, it I'm, can't be the first. There's. It must. It must exist. There's no way that we are the first. Also, if we said it right now and it doesn't exist, it's copywritten. <laughs> that we That's own, not how it works. We own that. It's copywritten. I sent a letter to myself or whatever. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how you know. That's how people used to say you could copyright something for yourself. Is that you, what, yeah. you have to send it in the mail or something? I don't know. Oh, really? It wasn't like an yeah. email. No, no, no. Was that real? Was that a real thing, Lawrence? I mean, I, I heard that too. That's well, kind of like you can like, if you send yourself an email or something like that, then you're proving when this thought was incepted, you know, and you have like written proof of it, um, which can be used kinda, but you it's not enough. You can't sue someone over you're sending yourself an email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know about email. Um, I always heard that like if you if you stamped an address letter to yourself and then there was a postmark on it from the U.S. Postal Service. That would prove that you had the idea at a certain date, but uh, yeah, the postmark proves date and time. But I that's have so no dumb. idea if that's enough or like how, what what constitutes infringement. How much of an idea? I got, I'm sure that they're illegal. Whatever, man. Did this you know, this reminds me of like stuff that I used to hear on the playground, like little life hacks yeah. for mm. elementary school kids. Yeah. I'm like what, in fifth grade, what am I inventing that's important? <laughs> uh, actually, a mask that you can drink through. It might might have been a fifth grade invention. Maybe oh I should have like trademarked my tank that has like rocket launchers and flamethrowers and also the treads are like giant katana swords. Whoa. Man. Yeah, I know, it's really sick. And there's like a launcher on the back, so if anyone climbs on the back it launches the people off in front of the tank, so then the katana sword treads run them over. Very cool. That sounds like I bet it's already been made by the US military. <laughs> <laughs> what if we made a tank out of swords? I'm sure that we've already done that at least once because some fucking dude was just like you except that, <laughs> except that he was a 25 year old military engineer and he's like dude if we put swords on the fucking treads it'll kill people it'll be awesome <laughs> more than just running them over yeah. with the tank yeah. <laughs> oh we should get military contracts you guys okay so we are broke. We've been starved for money. The only reason we do this podcast is so we can sell VPNs and stuff. But <laughs> when was the last ad we even? Had? I know. When, when was the last ad? I was just thinking that the other, just the other day. It's it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been uh, like, it's, like it, six weeks. Are we going to shop it out to the military now? Is that what you're saying? Thank you. That's exactly where I was going. <laughs> this is now a think tank where we come up with new military contract ideas, and since we're copywriting them as we say them live, right. with Bruce's stellar technique. That's right. We will get that money, baby. I mean, as long as we just come up with some new kind of flamethrower, you know, war crimes are probably not going to be a thing for that much longer. So we just get some new raunchy shit out there and we'll just we'll make crazy money. That's where all the cash is nowadays. Yeah. I, Lockheed I, Martin could sponsor us. I actually I actually really like the idea of, well, not a podcast where we invent murder weapons, but a podcast <laughs> where we, we're constantly brainstorming new schemes of making money. It's It's like almost exactly you know always sunny in philadelphia but in a podcast format where we try to come up with the fastest way to make a quick buck and the viewers like you know we get across the finish line Craig, and i will we, I'm gonna, let's just make weapons <laughs> i was well weapons i don't know if necessarily the best fastest way to make money yeah uh, also <laughs> also maybe not super legal uh but i can tell you a semi get rich get rich man why can't i say it? get rich quick scheme that my dad was doing this was at the 
And, and, and by the way, it was an incredibly smart idea that worked up until the economy crashed in 2007. Um, or maybe even before that. It was like right around that time. So what he was doing, and, the, and then I'll try to leave all the really boring details up, but what you could do was you could get a credit card that had a, let's say it had a $10,000 limit on it. And mm -hmm. you could take that $10,000 limit and then get another credit card with mm. points or cash back or something like that. Then you could transfer the balance of that one credit card to the other credit card. And you, I, there, was, there was some like loophole where you wouldn't pay interest on a, a balance transfer for a year, but you would get the points. So then you could keep transferring the balance to other credit cards that had that same, those same conditions and you could make money <laughs> or points on those credit cards. And it worked for a time until credit cards caught on. Um, and because uh, they, they started catching on because a lot of those credit cards were offering those, those same deals, right? Where it was like mm -hmm. zero interest and zero points and all the balance transfers. But eventually they started figuring out that people were doing that. Um, but that was a good uh, get rich quick scheme. Also, when crypto was becoming a thing in 2017, like when it was like getting really big, you could use your credit card to buy crypto. And oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, Cause I did this because I was like, holy shit, I didn't know you could do this. And it was, I mean, it worked, it, wow. it was fine, but you could use your, your credit card to buy crypto and then they would give you points or cash back on the purchases that you made through oh those, God. those crypto uh, brokerages. And credit cards caught onto that really quick. That one, I was able to make a few purchases for like a week. And then all of a, and then all of a sudden they stopped. They were like, nope, you can't buy any more crypto with, with credit cards. Um, but people did that. And that was one of those things that I would imagine, I mean, it wasn't like, I, again, I, I made relatively responsible purchases with that. If, but if somebody was like, fuck it, I'm gonna spend $20,000 through my credit card on crypto, they did. <laughs> and they made money off of it in addition to what they bought with crypto. It's just, oh my gosh. Yeah, blew my, it blew my mind that, that they allowed that for like as long as it did. So. And also, it, it feels to me like then those exchanges were actually just trying to buy transaction traffic. Um, oh, yeah. If they're just giving you a kickback on, on usages of their service. Yeah. Which I guess, yeah, that means you can, you can buy anything in America. You can buy your way into being a bank. I mean, that's pretty crazy. The, the stuff that I'm describing, this is this is peanuts compared to what people in <laughs> yeah. our financial system are doing. Yeah. I mean, it's this is like this is the the everyday man's yeah. uh, you know way of getting back at the big big banks. It's, huh? it's am this is amateur hour. It's free yeah. enterprise. Um, huh. That's like the I mean, if you ever if you guys ever saw the movie The Big Short, that's what people were they were buying loans at. Like, again, I don't know exactly all the details, but they were basically, uh, they were like rebuying loans with no points. Uh, man, it's just, it's so corrupt and, and ridiculous that it was even allowed. So, I don't know. <laughs> this is great, though. This, this is valuable research uh, into what is now the whole point of this podcast, which is finding a way for us three, no more, no less, to exempt ourselves from the American monetary system <laughs> through some sort of loophole, we're gonna we're gonna scratch at this fabric until we find a way through. Mm -hmm. um, let me think. What do I have an abundance of that I could exploit? Um, <laughs> exploit the word exploit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. <sighs> Got some socks. We get. Okay. Got you can some make socks. <laughs> I'm just. Hey, I'm just spitballing here. We can make a lot of Gmail accounts. Okay. So we gotta we gotta find a way to convert Gmail accounts into money. All right. Mm. Gmail account. Well, now we're just talking about YouTube bots, but Gmail accounts That's are true. YouTube accounts. Sub for sub for sub, and if they all sub for sub, we skyrocket to maybe two thousand subs after about a couple months of work. So wait, so who are we doing sub for sub though with? Each other. So okay. And then we start a network. Because we have, I'm, like, 
ten thousand. So it, okay, 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 okay. I like okay. where that's going. I like where <laughs> that's going. Kraken's got it. Kraken's got it. We're gonna have some metrics, and we can sell those metrics. Kraken, yeah, he's we get got two thousand accounts. We sub for sub each of them with each other. They multiply. We then start an MCN. We oh. sell it and say, look at all these subs we already have in our network. You're fifty thousand percent sub increase in one month. You're describing. Yeah. Ma you're describing you machinima. Say. That's machinima. What you're describing. Yes. <laughs> this is what they did. And then. And then we, we, you know, offer partnerships where we take 90 or 10 percent of income from a, an actual stream, you know, YouTube user. We then have all of our accounts comment nice video and thumbs up it when they post a video. <laughs> Their numbers explode. Uh -huh. We go to new partners and we say, look what we were able to do for these guys. Right. Look at these guys. Yeah. Look at them. This could be you for could 90, be. you know, for for. For eight, for just twenty percent of your income, and we slowly step them back until we control all of the viewers on the site, and then, and we get a hundred percent of the income, and then we and are then YouTube. licenses. Yes. This then we can make uh, live action adaptations of a fighting game, maybe. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we can do whatever we well, I, then it's Hollywood. That's Hollywood, we, Hollywood we, baby. We I always got to go into Hollywood for yeah. some yeah. goddamn reason. Yeah. We're gonna make we'll make movies finally. It's gonna we're gonna conquer Hollywood, um, but first we gotta defraud all these children. <laughs> um, I remember I remember hearing it was the what was it? I heard I heard a very similar get rich quick scheme from somebody left Machinima to go do this, and it was basically like kind of like Juke and Media, but worse. Where they what they would do is they would buy viral videos for like. Basically, they would prey on people that oh, yeah. had viral know, videos. Yeah, and they would, they'd be like, hey, we'll give you 200 bucks for your video. And then as soon as they did that, they would uh, basically, they would bring their video into their MCN or whatever, um, monetize it through YouTube, and blow up the numbers, just like you were saying, Crack. And they would, ex they would blow up the numbers for all these videos because like each video got 3 million views or whatever. So then if they, they bought 50,000 videos, then they had billions of views. And they weren't making, oh, they were making a little bit of money on ads, but because each video is like 30 seconds long, but it didn't matter because of all the views. And so this is a real thing that you're describing, Craig. What you described was exactly the business model that somebody described to me. And I was like, but that's only going to last for as long as somebody can sell that vision. Yeah. And, and they're like, yeah, I know. But, but then if we get investors, then we can make original. Con I was like, but, but you're just doing what should have Ah, whatever. I, I hesitate to say this because this is a person I knew, but I don't think they're gonna listen to this. Um, there, there was someone I went to university with that ended up working for a company like that, and we would like be at like a university party in like one of my last years there, and they would be really interested in like talking shop with me about YouTube, and like they would keep bringing up all these instances of, oh, we just bought this video that made 2 million views, you know, oh, maybe, you know, you want any of your videos you want to sell to us. And I'm like, I know exactly what, like, you're just poaching <laughs> yeah, like, views. Yeah. It's so, it's, this is not, oh, it, it was so dirty. I always felt like I needed to wash my hands afterwards, but I didn't want to, like, have a fight over YouTube analytics in the middle of a no, party. No, it, so. it was probably a smart choice. Um, yeah. Sir, Lee, um, Sir Lee in my chat was talking about essential oils. Have you guys ever bought essential oils before? Oh, now that no. that's a good racket. Um, I oh, I got enough non-essential oils to last me uh, a month. Hey, am I right? Where my oil gang at? Wait, ew, that's gross. <laughs> yeah, well, it's 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 reality. You know, <laughs> yeah, we can't <laughs> we can't change the facts. It's reality. Rodents, rodents, they they self oil. Um, Remus and Chad said that Break.com bought a video from him in college. For 200 bucks yeah that's like i think that's one of those things where you can roll the dice a lot if you're not throwing out big numbers because only like one in a hundred has to hit um man essential oils though we can do this so if we uh let's see here has the gamer market been targeted for essential oils yet because i don't think they have no it would be mm. cool though imagine like a little bowl of oil and you dunk your face in it and then you you, win a, you get a battle royale. You, you know? win a battle royale. Uh, you know what? I'm starting to suspect you've never used essential oils, but that's okay. <laughs> I think uh, I think we call it. I've already come up with a name. 
and we're gonna call it G oil or Goyle. 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 Oh, oh I love it. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. Rolls right off the tongue. Um, and if people want to call it Goyle, they can. Or if they want to call it G oil, they can. Um, but we have to have different flavors, like uh, gamer, <laughs> gamer blue, and uh, <laughs> I, I love it because it's so unclear if you just put it on you or you drink it. I don't know what you do flavors. with them. I'm not yeah, sure. We don't fucking know. We're just selling it. Yeah. It's up to you. I don't know. Yeah. What do you People do? With are it? Just using it as like olive oil, like putting it all over yeah. their food. Ugh. Oh, we can I pay someone it. to tear the labels off of like old Coke bottles, and we just start pouring the oil in. Exactly. Slap the label on. Get it out the door. <laughs> Uh, That's business. Goyle. I mean, G oil or whatever. There's nothing Is wrong it with hyphenated? It. Is it camel capped? Uh, well, you know, we can workshop the brand later. It's in all caps with an exclamation mark at the end. Goyle! Goyle! <laughs> Goyle! <laughs> Get your Goyle here! And a little TM up there. Oh, just yeah. in case. Yeah, but, well, because yeah, oh, wait. Quick, everyone email this idea to yourself <laughs> oh, yeah. right now. <laughs> Send a letter. Postmark a letter to stamp it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm, I'm going to CC all of you. There, if if Kraken's doing this, that means I have to make a competitive product, and we have to well, call no, it. Well, no, but if, okay. if we're all CC'd, we all get it. We'll call it Gamer Oil, and we'll call, and then it'll be called go, Gamor Oil. Gamor Oil. Okay. Gamor Oil. <laughs> this isn't a joke. I just sent you both an email. I hope I actually CC the right people. Otherwise, I might have just sent my agent uh, <laughs> an email that just says Goyle. Uh huh. Yeah. Looks like I got both of you. All right. Goyle. I think literally Kraken really did actually send this email. I was kidding. I did. This wasn't a bit. There it is. He's, I see it. I didn't give any description of the product. He just wrote, <laughs> which might be a he problem. Wrote Goyle it twice. It just says Goyle. It says Goyle. I think that. Twice. I think that says enough. That's enough. Know? Yeah, it's th it's implied. No reasonable court of law is gonna is gonna think around that one. <laughs> Man, I can't wait. So uh, should we should we like talk around the marketing features of Goyle or? We, do we think we, we're ready to go product? Oh, I mean, do we even need marketing features? Well, I mean, okay. Well, hey, let, you know what? We can walk through this. Let's role play a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'll be, I'll be a, a gamer. Okay. Um, who, and, I, and I think, I think I've got it all. Um, I've, got, I've got a gamer mouse, gamer keyboard. Mm -hmm. I've got a gamer mouse pad, gamer chair. Happens to be literally true in this case. Gamer desk, gamer life, gamer wife. You have, you have G Fuel Tell, as well. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Bruce, tell me why I need Goyle. Well, okay, so you got all those gamer things. And what's, what's the last thing that you don't feel like you have that's a gamer? Mm. I'm going to say your attitude. Your attitude. You know, I was thinking about Ninja just now. Your attitude he's, is not... He's told us a lot about the attitude Ooh, of a champion. Money. Money. You're, also money. Your, wait, are we making gamer money too? Is this another product? Well, no, I was I was trying to one up you. I was giving I was giving you the leg in. Bruce. G coin? Oh no, we can get there. How in how is this Goyle gonna get him money? Oh oh in oh, oh oh well, I mean of course that's come on. That, that's a, just a one step proposition there. If you have the gamer attitude, you're gonna make money. That's guaranteed, right? Because mm -hmm. who's got the gamer attitude? Like you just said, Ninja, Shroud, mm -hmm. Doctor Disrespect, even though he's banned. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. We shouldn't even touch that. I feel like one yeah. of is like a nuke that's about to go off. Oh, I'm, I agree. Just, um, uh, who else? What other what other gamers are have the game? Dark side Phil. Dark, that's a bit of a deep. Dark cover. side Phil. <laughs> don't bring that Dark up. He's a Phil, champion. Actually, dude. Dark side Phil uh, is is the the source of Goyle. We we actually <laughs> you know much like a cow. Yeah. Uh, we make. <laughs> visits to uh he's to like, DSP he's like a geyser on the regular. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> anyways so you don't have the gamer attitude and the way you get the gamer attitude is with goyle so or or mm, however okay. you prefer to say it g oil or goyle um yeah someone asked is it is it with a g or a j like gif or jif no uh, no no I, I don't think we should ever <laughs> say for sure okay. i know it All right. makes that hard for us to brand <laughs> yeah it makes it hard for us cuz we could never say it not? But we'll just <laughs> it's just a plot you know it, it's it's everyone's it's joyle it's goyle it's, we're not going to tell you how to say it we'll what we will tell you is how to consume it which is either topically orally or you know <laughs> whatever you, else you, you can feel also like. breathe it in um you can breathe it too yeah so if you if you burn it you, you can huff it you know <laughs> you know it's cooler well, I'm at, uh, lawrence yes yes you have a question lawrence 
Oh, I just think it's in terms of consumption and, and maybe maybe I'm I'm slipping back into marketing mode here, but I feel like we need to construct a scenario in which Goyle is <laughs> rapidly and continuously consumed and mm. automatically refilled. I know, I'm gonna tell you right now. I've ooh, already got I've already catheter. got it. I've already ooh, yeah. uh, well uh, okay. The catheter that requires some pain. And if you're if you're having it is quickly mitigated by the soothing sensation of Goyle. <laughs> I don't know that blasting it's a it's a numbing oh, sensation. Blasting oil into your urethra is the is the right choice. Um I think you gotta breathe on Have her, tried it. it up I a little bit. For sure. I think this is where we splinter off and you go to your gamer oil. Oh, we all we all make competitive yeah, goil yeah. counterparts <laughs> that have different intensities and and it yeah. becomes a huge legal battle. Well I've already got I've already got the number one uh way to consume goil. And it's uh, what do gamers like more than video games and uh, sex and violence? What do they like more? There's only one answer. <laughs> I'm only going to give you one chance to answer it. Kraken, what do you think? A battle royale. No, come on. More than video games. What? Wait. More than video games. Okay. What about you, Lawrence? There's one. There's, uh, a, gamers, there's only one answer. Gamers love... They love winning. Oh, come on. It's weed. What? It's weed. Oh, it's weed. Oh. Okay, sorry. They love weed, and they love Okay, so vaping. your branch of Goyle has THC in it. Well, so you can put THC. Here's the thing. you got to buy a vaporizer, okay? Uh-huh. you got to buy a, a Goyle vaporizer, and the Goyle vaporizer blasts Dark Side Phil's Goyle at you all day. <laughs> and you, you inhale it, and it covers you, and... Like weed. <laughs> <laughs> G weed, G weed, or just G or just geed. We, we've just cut out the middle, man. Are we so? Wait a minute, hold on. All right, we're pivoting. We shouldn't sell goil at all. We should sell gamer weed. What are we thinking about? Well, weed. it's goil laced weed. We take the goil, we spray it on the weed, or we spray it on the weed, <laughs> and then it becomes weed that, that we then sell at a crazy markup. <laughs> Which is great because we're in California, so we can just get that shit on delivery. Yeah, we just throw it all over the living room floor. We we pump up our little <laughs> pesticide sprayer filled with goil. We just hose it on down, and then we just use a shovel, put it all in a big garbage bag, and then deliver it somewhere else. Dude, <laughs> we can make like thirty grand just today. Look, just I think we're limiting ourselves. I think we're we're not we're not thinking outside the box here. Okay, all right, yeah, enough. Uh -huh, <laughs> <I think>. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So right now we we have we put goil in weed we put goil in face we can also put goil in alcohol oh and yeah we get uh let's see g hooch gooch, gooch. <laughs> get your gooch <laughs> the h is silent when the g slaps on there but Goose. yeah good yeah gooch Goose. <laughs> gear um, your craft gear <laughs> or how about glicker Glicker. <laughs> These all sound like slurs. <laughs> really None of them do. sound good. <laughs> um, I do think, though, this is we have come up with a. That's it, what they call a suite of products. So we have. <laughs> we have. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. We have Goyle. We have Gweed. We have Glicker. Well, it sounds like Goyle is is like a fructose coin syrup, syrup like syrup, <laughs> like coin <laughs> coin syrup, dude. <laughs> what if you take Bitcoin and yeah. turn it into a syrup? corn syrup? What? Yes. How's that possible? I don't know. Well, we can say that we did it, and people will buy it. I don't know. I mean, Craig, and you're right. Bitcoin is not yet a flavor. It isn't a flavor. Goyle is tastes like Bitcoin. Well, we can. You could have yeah. Bitcoin scented Goyle. Yes, we got yeah. Bitcoin scented Goyle. Absolutely. Oh man, are we oh. allowed to use Bitcoin? Is that trademark? Maybe it's like no, that's not Bitcoin. No, crypto, no. Crip, crypto currency. Oh, crypto. Yeah. Like Ooh. like G Ripto. Yeah. <laughs> I, look, I'm telling you, I think Man. we start with Goyle, and we and then we branch out. We go to the to the yeah. Gweed and then the the Gooch and and then the Bitcoin flavored Goyle and stuff like that. Because the essential oils are weird because they're called essential, right? Yeah. So if you don't have them, you die. If you don't um, have them, you do, you die. So we need to figure out a way to make it seem like. These are essential goils. How do we make well? How do we brand something essential for gamers? Okay, I, I think the true gamer is is always self conscious about 
their rank, right? They, they want to rise in the Always. ranks. They want to be Always. better, the best. They want to, you know, get the sickest frags. They want to get the battle royales. They want to get the top of the leaderboards, top mm -hmm. of the charts, great KD ratios, right? all these buzzwords. So what we need to do is we need to go to the eSport teams, the people that, that lead this pack, all right? And then while they're playing their games, we throw Goyle on them, and then we take a qu quick picture before we're kicked yeah, out they're all of oily. the booth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then we use that for promotional material, saying, right. or, or, okay, maybe a slightly less illegal version of doing this. <laughs> if they are sweating, we snap a good pic of them while sweating. Right. And we'll say they're using Goyle. Let, I, I, I vote we make Goyle as indistinguishable from sweat as possible. Okay. So that we can, you know, we can claim they use Goyle, even if they, they haven't temporarily, you know, act, actually used Goyle. I'm revealing a lot here you know, on this podcast, because this, is, this would be a conversation I would only be having with you, you two. What wow. if, what if, instead of making Goyle in oil, it's just water? <laughs> and then we just drop flavoring into it mm. or even just or like holistic oil no 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 oil at all oil's wait oh what's cheaper than oil lawrence nothing exactly rather water <laughs> water <Nothing. laughs> i mean we can't oil sell. is the cheapest substance in the world we can't sell i meant nothing. more like it, when it comes to adding something to goyle yeah what's cheaper than adding oil Adding nothing at all. Nothing, yeah. Mm. But but it has okay. to smell like something. So how do we mm. how do we make mm. it smell? So I I don't I don't mean to uh, I don't mean to no but that but uh, <laughs> a lot of people. Well, so I agree. We do need to jazz it up somehow. But I'm seeing a lot of people in chat throw out the like there are many things that associate with gamer nowadays. But I think if we're looking at the future, it's got to have to be RGB. Because you're not a gamer unless your oh, keyboard right. is strobing at maximum intensity. Lawrence is right. And your, your PC case is, is thrumming lights along with whatever weird anime you're watching. That's right, yes. Um, I suggest, and to some degree this is going to take a little bit of massaging, but we have the world's first RGB spray. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. But it only works if you have other RGB things around you. Um, it, it activates naturally. So somebody sprays themselves down with water, uh -huh. their keyboard lights up red. What are they going to look like? It's gonna, well, that water is going to shine that red it's right back be, at it's them. It's going to be red, yeah. So That's how you RGB your body, baby. So, just, so we're saying just water? Goyle is just a very reflective <laughs> liquid. No, that, that costs money. Just water. Just water, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just water. We, just take some, we just take some photos like Bruce said. Uh, maybe we, we turn some knobs in Photoshop. Bada bing, bada boom. We got us a... Uh, we got a RGB water. Well, Easy. Also, we're going to get a lot of a lot of calls about how it's not working. Um, mm, that's true. So what we, we will have to gaslight all of our audience. The phones. So I already have that. Well, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I have an even no. better answer. <laughs> I have an even better answer yeah. than mm. that. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. This is this is a marketing 101 class. I'm gonna ask you the question. What's better than disconnecting the phone? There's only this one is answer. So Socratic. There's, <laughs> there's only one answer. What is it, Craig? <gasps> mm. You connect them to each other. No, Kraken, you're selling more. What? You sell more. That's how you make more money. So when they call you and say it's not working, it's not oh. enough, what do you say? Buy more. You upgrade them to the next package. Yes, you say yeah. buy more. That's what's happening to me right now with Spectrum. Spectrum is constantly going down. And I had to, I'm no joke, my only outlet now is to call them and give them more money for the service that they could not provide me in the first place. So for Goyle, if the water doesn't reflect the red or the or the green or the blue, what do we say? Buy the not using red enough. flavor. Buy more. Buy more. Okay. Mm. Buy more water. And then we send them the bottle, the branded bottle of Goyle that's just water. <laughs> <laughs> and we've made shitloads of money. <laughs> Literal shitloads of money. Oh, I can't wait. I think we got it. Uh, we just need bottles and labels, and I think we're good. Yeah, that's it. And that, that stuff costs nothing because we can get it made in China or whatever. And if you if you get, I mean, I th 
I think we got to put all the money into really fancy packaging. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? yes, you are. We got to get these bottles have to be crystal, and Ooh. they they are ribbed, and they have a, a spiral design <laughs> that ends in it in ribbed. You know, a controller like you know. Put handle. Master Chief on it. Oh yeah, when you when you go to drink it, it's like a it's like a go- like a goblet. You got to grab each side of the controller and duck it back. And yeah. we don't make yes. we don't make a a small you know like a water bottle like mm, mm, okay it's like ooh, it's a tiny little hole that no. I can no. ooh, I'll make sure I don't spill a lot. no a lot Goyle it's yeah. a fat fucking saucer <laughs> yeah. when you're gonna go knock that thing back it's gonna get all over you that's, and that's right. part of the design idiot the drink best, it the best part of it, Craig, what Kraken's saying is that I said you don't even need to drink it it's more of like you blast it in your face but you can also <laughs> drink it. You can vaporize it. <laughs> yeah. You can drink it. You can drink it if you want. You can shoot it up your urethra if you want. You can do whatever <laughs> yeah. you want. Um, boil ramen noodles in it. Fuck it. Let me, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. It's, it's, fuck, who cares? Because it's just water. But we're not going to tell anybody that. All right? No. So the audience, won't know. the audience that's listening right now, remember, none of this exists. I'm deleting this VOD after we do it. Um, yeah. But uh, I, let me ask you this. Uh, as the self-proclaimed CEO of Goyle, because I am. Um, excuse me, would you check your email? <laughs> I seem to see, if I'm looking at this right. All right. It says right. sent by Kraken. Kraken, got, okay. Kraken already got me. He already got me. All right. As, a, as the self-proclaimed co-owner of Goyle. Um, who wants to take what? Goyle, Gweed, or Gooch? Who wants what? <laughs> who wants what division? <laughs> who, want, um, who wants? Uh, I, I think Lawrence would be a great Gweed. Uh, Okay. All uh, right. Run. Thank you. you know, head of the Gweed department. I um, accept. Kraken, what do you want to be? I I I don't even know if I want Gooch. I think <laughs> I want to be involved in classic. You want classic Goyle? <laughs> well, no, actually, I want to be in the experimental department. I want to be the oh, R and D. You know, <laughs> you're like the I Google. Want, you're the you're the Google of our of Goyle. Is basically what you are. I want to find new ways to use Goyle. I I have okay. I have this crazy idea. Mm-hmm. What if we used Goyle to water crops, right? Okay, all right. Have we ever really thought what would happen if we used Goyle as a... Remember, it's just water. <laughs> Remember that? It's just water. Really good. I think it would do well. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, think it would actually it would be what they need. It's a building block of life, yes. That's true. Yeah. Uh-huh. We could even... We could even... Huh. Oh, okay. Hold on. We could, we could even have a Goyle aquarium. All right. Each of the tanks is filled exclusively with Goyle. Blue, red, and green, right? Yeah. And the only fish we allow in are gish. Gamer fish. <laughs> Gamer fish. All right, so what... Gish or jish, depending on which well, you prefer. <laughs> what, wait, what are classified as gamer fish? Fish that have gotten a battle royale. <laughs> What? Actually, Kraken, I really like I really like where this is going because all these stupid kids are sitting in they're sitting inside online getting their victory royales and chicken dinners and whatnot. <laughs> uh-huh. But we open the world's first gamer aquarium. Mm-hmm. You bet your ass those kids are going to come out. So that way we not only get the adult gamers, we can swipe up the little kitties too. That's right. That way we get a whole generation hooked on on Goyle early. Hooked, yeah, hooked on Goyle. Look, all you got to do get a hundred fish. Put them in a tank. Mm-hmm. Wait like a week. Whichever one is left has eaten all of their brothers and sisters. That's right. That one gets into the the gish tank. They've won. They've won they've the battle won. royale of life. <laughs> it's, what, it's what happened. Uh, all right. So Kraken's in charge of R and D. It sounds like you've already got some amazing ideas. Oh yeah. Um, and then I guess uh, Lawrence and I will take Gooch and Goyle together. Um, Fair. I can handle that. Yeah, that's that's no big deal. Uh, I, I, Kraken, here's the thing, though. I'm going to need you to come up with a new idea every week. Every single week. Not a week. problem. Okay. All right. Not a problem. Uh, I got 30 already. They're, uh, spoiler alert, they're all just different applications of water. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. Uh, well... I think we've, uh, unfortunately, we're only at an hour for the podcast. We've still got a half an hour left. There's nothing else to talk about. There's though. nothing else to talk about. We've already, pe- we've already talked about Goyle. 
<laughs> and I feel like, is there a way? Here's an, okay, hold on. I have, a, I have another product that I'd like to sell to you. Is there a way okay. that if I am streaming or if I put up a YouTube video or if I tweet or if I Instagram, is there a way that I could delete it forever? so that no one can ever see it ever again. Does anybody know of a way to do that? Because I know you guys are gonna say the, yes. delete, the delete button. That does, that's not how it works. Somebody's- Oh, you mean from like internet archive and stuff like that? Yes. yes. Some, somebody's already screenshotted it. Somebody's already whatever. How do you get rid of it, Frank? Craig, and tell me how. Okay. Okay. We need an elite team. Uh-huh. We have to break into the platform that this is hosted on. We have to disconnect that server. We have to find everyone that follows the account that posted this. We have to dox them all individually. Okay. We have to go to their house and destroy their computer in case they might have any backups or in, the, in case they even saw it. And then, no, then they might still remember it and they can just write it. But then there's no proof. There's no proof. As long as we don't have proof, we're good. Okay. America as well as Twitter.com. Sarah in my chat said, you need the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Do we need the Suicide Squad? Is that who we need? Well. This is way too expensive. To, look, look, look. You can go loud, which is cheaper, or you can go quiet, which is a little more expensive because you got to get a real, you know, special team for that. Oh, oh God! I know this Minecraft pooping thumbnail. This is a Minecraft poop coming out of a <laughs> Minecraft butt. Look, and somebody gave cheeks to a Minecraft lady so she could poop out a turd. This per this person, they're making more money than we are on this podcast right now. You realize that? An interesting segue. That I, I was just bring noticed. Up. There's a creeper staring at the shit pile with heart eyes sitting at a table yeah. holding a fork that's and knife. A, yeah. That's a Minecraft zombie. Lawrence, they're gonna, they're gonna, don't have arms. They're going to eat it. You, Sorry. They're going to eat it. You're right. They're gonna you, don't, eat. You, don't, you shouldn't even have a title at Goyle. This man doesn't even know what a creeper or a zombie looks like in Minecraft. Lawrence is creeper my, green. Lawrence that's is all my I need friend. To know. I know Lawrence is smart, so he is part of Goyle and Guid and Gooch, all right? Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. Okay, but we're, are we just going to let all our friends in? <laughs> you got you to gotta, you gotta draw the hey. line somewhere. What I'm kind of money bro venture capital startup is it if we can't onboard all of our shit wasteoid <laughs> friends? That's it. I'm walking from from Goyle. Already? That's her. Uh, that <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the HBO for mini straws. Clearly, I'm out of here. clearly you do. You're uh, cracking. You were gonna say something else about Minecraft yeah. shit or whatever. Well, it wasn't Minecraft shit, um, but uh, it reminded me. We were talking about. YouTube and like gaming the algorithm. Um, when I was in university, one of my close friends uh, was in like a, a class about YouTube. I, I, I don't even know what it was, but sure, yeah. one of the things that he set out to do as his project was, I'm gonna make a viral video. And as his friend, I was like, all right, I'll tell you what I know about YouTube, but like, this is gonna be weird. And he's like, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> he ended up making a video that has 26 million views. Holy shit. Yeah. He made a lot of money off of it too because he monetized it until YouTube saw it and was like, this is not monetizable Wait, friendly. What, yeah, what was and the video? Shut it down. Uh, oh man, it's weird because it's got all my friends in it because they all act in it too. It's, um, and I, I'm even more worried because I feel some people in this chat will have already seen it. Probably, yeah. And if they've seen it, uh, it's gonna out them as a as a specific type of person. What? what? Is this a hentai video? What 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 did you no. tell your friend to make? All right, actually, how about this? What if I just linked it to you? Okay, I mean, yeah. Sh should I click it? It's not TOS. Oh, okay. It is. It is uncomfortable though. I don't know if we should put it on the podcast or if you just want to watch it. And uh, all right, well, how I, you want to? I can. If you link it to me, you link it. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click full screen. So just Would it get the video blocked on YouTube or anything like that? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the title. I can read the title. Wait, should I read the title? Sure. Well, sure. I guess. It's up to Kraken. Oh, okay, sorry. No, you can read the title. I just, I, I want to see 
if anyone in chat has actually already seen this. I I would bet my bottom right. dollar app they they have. The name of this video is Girl Has to Poop During Class. You won't believe what happens next. And it's got and the, and the, the thumbnail is a picture of just a girl. No, oh. it's my friend. Yeah. Should, I'm, should, I'm friends with everyone in this video. I, I, I know them all first. I mean, to be honest with you, they clearly made a good video because it has 26 million views. And I want to know what happens next. Oh my God, Jacksaw's seen it. He's one of my viewers. God damn it, Jacksaw. <laughs> I recognize, how could you? I trusted you. <laughs> I, uh, look, I'm not gonna show it unless Kraken wants me to show it. That's, that's, not, uh, that's not on me. You guys can Google it or whatever if you want. Uh, um, we can, yeah, you can show it. It's two and a half minutes. You want to show it? Sure. Here we go. Hold on a second. I can't believe the only one that seems to have oh, man. seen it. It's a great chat. thumbnail, too. It yeah. is, it's a great yeah. thumbnail. Here we go. Oh, well, it also opens with a, a shot of feet. So That's true. I think the video got a lift from all the from foot YouTube. It got, uh, I mean, it definitely was picked up by the wrong sides of YouTube. But that's well, of course, part of the intention. Yeah. I want to know what happens next, Kraken. I'm so, I'm so interested. You won't believe what happens next. Also, it's got 20,000 dislikes <laughs> in, and to 60,000 likes. So the ratio is not the greatest. I have, I have a theory about that. I like where this is going. Oh, this is great. Wait, so hold on. Kraken, did you brainstorm this video idea with no, him? No, not exactly. We, we talked shop about it a little bit. But this was also the, I can't take credit for that. The premise is that she carries around a box of cat litter everywhere just in case she has to shit her pants. Yeah, I agree. And then she poops. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're uh, cracking. You win. Your friend was on on the nose. Yeah. This is a very viral video. You win. It's also well shot, well acted. Yeah, good editing. Good editing. Good title and thumb. <laughs> oh, uh. no. Oh, gosh. <sighs> That's not the way Kitty Lur works at all. I feel like this video accidentally intersects with a ton of fetishes. Yep, on purpose. So, Kraken, this was your idea? Um, not exactly. I, uh... Yeah, it definitely hit a weird fetish side of YouTube. Um... Which I think was like, I don't want to say the goal. I think it was. <laughs> yeah, right. A, it was a. It was a, It was a slant, kind of byproduct of it. Um, I think the the dislikes of that video are from people that came with a specific fetish in mind and then were upset to see it was fake. Oh, um, <laughs> got it. Because yeah, uh, but yeah, no, it uh, it was something watching that. Go. Also, everyone in that video, um, like, I'm roommate. I was roommates with like half, like not yeah. half of those people, but like two of those people in that video. We also did skit like YouTube content all the time. Yeah. Uh, so it was just funny to me that that one was the one that uh, that that made it. I mean, it's not funny. It's more. It's well, it's awkward, and it's also like yeah. it's made for YouTube. It's made for YouTube. Yeah, it's, it it's, is. That was it, the intention. It's a. Uh, it's one of those things where I used to. So this is going to reveal something about me personally, but oh boy, I'll Here say it. I'll say it anyways. Um, I had. I remember once I had a friend say, "Hey, isn't it sexy to see a girl peeing?" And keep in mind they were straight. 
And I, I was like, what do you mean by sexy to see a girl pee? And they're like, well, you know, like in porn, you, you see it. Not, you don't see the pee come out, but you see her like sitting on the toilet. And I was like, I have never thought of it that way. Why, why would that be sexy? And without getting too much into it, basically it was the fact that she was, she was just naked. So I think that hits on that, where if you think about a girl having to poop, somebody clicking on that video is like, I bet I'll see a girl half naked on the toilet. Right? I don't think that's it. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I call into question the the depth think, of your friend's explanation. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, then, I okay. think I think your friend saw you weren't into it and then did a swerve. I think he backed out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think all right. Well, so, so then, what do you think he was really trying to go for? I don't think we should go there. I think that is uh, <laughs> that is going to be a conversation that a lot of people are uncomfortable with. I want to know. I'm, I want to know. I'm going to suggest. Yes, please. It has to do with the embarrassment of it. Oh. Um, oh. Okay. Huh. Or, or like the 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 assumption of shame, or the fact that you can see something that's not meant to be seen. There you go. Um, I, think it's, I think. Yeah, the latter. I think is. is uh, well, I think that's the one we can probably empathize with the most. But I don't know that if it, <laughs> I don't know that that's the driving emotion for people that really, really like that thing. Yeah. That makes sense. Ah. That makes sense because because <laughs> you're seeing something you shouldn't you shouldn't be seeing. Can we go back to Goyle? <laughs> Kraken, this is a video the, that you made. That Kraken, also. You made this video. Kraken. Out of all the videos I've done with these guys, I was probably the least directly involved with this one. <laughs> so I know, Kraken, I know exactly why you brought it up, and I'm glad you did. Because if we make a Goyle viral video. Oh, mm. all right. Well, how's, mm -hmm. What's the title and the thumbnail of the girl, girl has to Goyle in class. <laughs> you won't believe, believe what, what happens, happens next. next. I, I don't I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you won't believe what happens next doesn't work anymore. I think that I I didn't think that when he first made it. I was like, eh, this is such an old YouTube concept. It certainly worked. Uh, <laughs> um Okay, so but what what is what is what is a girl what does that mean? We don't know. No one knows. It's up to As gamers, Yeah. Well, we, As gamers Anything remotely female is just inexplicable and understandable to us. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the video has to have content or else we're not going to make any money. Well. Oh, man, he's right. This is a real problem. Girl, a girl, consider. Ha girl has to goil. Hmm. Maybe we hire um, some contractors. Uh, they can workshop some. Yeah, we gotta. I think we gotta get like a, a panel together, and we gotta. We gotta. We gotta workshop what Goyle sounds like. Like what? What is Goyle to you? And then we'll put together a panel of dudes yeah. to decide what Goyle is to women. <laughs> and, then, and then we get a like a like a like a Venn diagram of like arbitrary like visuals that represent this, and then we see. Uh, if that if that hits with an audience, you know, okay. All right. I like that I'm gonna start brain the what goyle as a verb means cuz goyle hmm. as a verb mm, Well, we want to mix it with some active consumption of the product plus some sort of meso metaphysical shift into a gamer mindset mm. um, I think we pair those actions together that way that way, when the gamers get up to do their thing, uh, they can't avoid it. It's a necessary step. They have, mm. they have to goyle everywhere they go. You gotta go, goyle down there as well as up here. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, Alpha Brain. Um, <laughs> Alpha Brain has, I think they also have like sex supplements that you can take in addition to. Uh, it's like Hims, too. Hims has dick pills and things for your head. So. You're a. Uh, Man, Bruce, you're, you've tapped into an, uh, an amazing market because I do recall at 17, I think, 18, I bought condoms because I was like, probably going to need these and didn't get laid for another like eight years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but still, I bought them. So it's like we get the gamers, we get the gamers who think they're going to get laid. Ooh. We sell them some goil, some sex enhancing goil. I think, uh, okay, I think that, that's another fresh market. That's, that's touching on a really interesting psychological kind of 
idea, which is like, just in case, you know, like I, it would be so much worse if I was in a situation and I didn't have blank. I should, I should get it. And then mm -hmm, they end up not mm -hmm. using it and yeah. having to get more later, you know? Yep. So in this situation, what is the just in case for Goyle? Is it, you know, just literally performance enhancing drugs <laughs> or is it, <laughs> is it, I'm thirsty. I, I better have Goyle at hand. <laughs> I'm thirsty. What, what is, what is the scenario in which you need Goyle? I mean, Goyle, like I said, Goyle, uh, I'm going to go back to my, it's Goyle changes your attitude so if you don't have the right game let's say you know like you get game, right and you're like getting on to play fortnite and you're like you know i i had a bad day right there there's lawrence lawrence is making the face i had a bad day i just mom yelled at me because she much or some stupid shit well you know what is gonna give me the attitude of attitude goyle I goil. Vaporize that. That's right. It's in a giant saucer, right? Vaporize. Or you drink it. Yeah. You drink, you drink it or you vaporize it. Put it all over your body. Put it inside your it body. Burns. Put, put it everywhere. Yeah. There's just like just enough chemical in there to burn your eyes just right to give that little kick. Yep. I'm alive. And then, and then <laughs> there you, you go. And then you win for, and then we cut to the screen that says uh, victory. Victory Royale. We won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> More space. Yeah, and there he is. Goil He's all goiled up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's in a team of like five dudes. <laughs> yeah, just super, super fucking goiled. Just, um, just blood squirting out of their eyes, goiled up. They, oh, man. But they won, and that's all that matters. They did win. That's all that matters. <laughs> and and then like, cause we're we're trying to find something that's essential, something that makes mm. it so that you can't go without it. And. So you got to do it every day, every, uh, multiple times a day. Yeah, the 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 Goyle mindset, the Goyle lifestyle <laughs> starts as soon as you wake up and it ends four to six hours after you go to sleep. There's only a narrow window uh, of unconsciousness when you're not living the Goyle lifestyle. That's right. Which, by the way, mental note, that's a little, that's an opportunity for more Goyle sales. We got to patch that up. Do we? <laughs> but uh, do we have any, any like uh. I don't know, scientists in chat that, that know. Scientists uh, in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs them? Oh, scientists I, in chat that'll work for well, free. Let look, me just amend that. Yeah, in there. well, that, but I, I need to know <laughs> is there any chemicals out there that can make water glow in the dark that won't make it toxic? Or do we even care about if it's toxic? Because I think, like, glowing goil to me is, is a, a necessity, you know? Cool. G G Goyle? G mm -hmm. Yeah, G G Goyle. <laughs> G Goyle. Goyle. G Goyle. Or it's G G Oil, <laughs> which it could be for, like, for G -G video games. G G Oil. Yeah, yeah. For video like game. G G Oil. Yeah. Algae makes it glow. There we go. Oh wait, we harvest the algae. Um, Hazari just said in Lawrence's chat, but I'm stealing it immediately and, and emailing myself. Gloyal. Gloyal. Yeah. <gasps> no, I'm gonna email it. Okay, all right. Wouldn't all right. it be, wouldn't it be gl Goyle? It's glowing Goyle. So glow. This is like Amos and Messenger. So you trademarked the wrong thing, oh, you idiot. Glow. Go <laughs> glow we got Glow Goyle. Glow Goyle. Glow Goyle. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. There's, it. A, there's a lot of G's in there. Glow that's that's why we're the professionals, okay, man. That's right. Don't even try. That's why we're Snake you know what we're Goyle. doing over here. We're the millionaires. Snake Goyle is pretty good. Snake. Oh well, yeah, we should make. We yeah, one of the, the one of the flavors is Snake Coil. Snake Coil. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's for the people that are in on the joke. Yeah. Yeah. But well, it's like, but they're well, still buying it. A snake is like an assassin. You never see the snake and then it's gotcha. And it's gotcha. Yeah. And what's cooler? Oh, no. Like, wouldn't it, you also want a snake to be oily? It's going to sneak up on you. The <laughs> snake goyle, like, marketing is incredibly, uh, you know, like, straight faced. You know, there's no. It, oh, yeah. It's not. We're not self aware in any. We, we cannot appear to for this to be a joke in any way, you know. Correct, it's yes. got to be, it's got to be a hundred percent. Okay, all right. I think I. Oh, go ahead, Lawrence. Go ahead. Oh, waking up thirsty in chat had an idea. We could license Goyle and Glagoyle out <laughs> as well. Uh huh. Um, and and uh, the pitch the pitch writes itself. Razor TM Death Goyle TM. Oh yeah. Uh, Hmm. You can't. So that's another whole revenue stream we haven't even thought about. We're over here trying to build our castle, and we could just rent it out to other people too. What? Easy licensing. Yeah, 
movies, TV shows. How about a character on a sitcom that is just a walking tub of goyle? <laughs> that's not, that's easy. I mean, I you don't know? know. Just widen the doorways a little bit. No I, problem. People, They're sets anyway. People in chat are scoffing at that. But let me tell you this. If you guys have watched Rick and Morty any time recently, all the Rick and Morty have, Wind, is it Wendy's or Burger King? One of those uh, Wendy's characters that are hamburgers and fries that are after Rick and Morty. So we need to have a character in Rick and Morty that's mm. Goyle that goes after Rick and Morty. Oh, we get that Rick and Morty crew. Man, they keep selling, they keep buying those shirts, man. I know. Pickle Rick, that's all you need. We just need a Pickle Goyle. And they're going to buy the stupid shirts and the sauce. Mm. It's already a sauce. It's already, they love it. It's already a they sauce. They love that stuff. Yep. Just pour Goyle on your burger. Now it'll glow <laughs> and be a little wetter. And be a wet. It'll be a little wetter. Well, we can wetter. we can make Goyle specifically for food, and we'll call it cooking mm. cooking Goyle. <laughs> Ooh, cooking Goyle. <laughs> and this time it'll be actual oil. By the way, it's not water. This, yeah. is, <laughs> this time it's actual. Man, we're just reselling everything. I just, yeah. just it's pretty much genius. This is how branding works. This yeah. is actually how branding works. Though. It really is. Man, I don't know about you guys, but uh, there's been enough genius on this podcast to to fill three or four weeks. So I don't know that we should. Yeah, I think we're gonna I'm take pooped. a break. Yeah, we're gonna take a break for a few weeks because we've uh, we have to workshop Goyle. <laughs> I gotta sneak into supermarkets and with a sharpie and write G in front of all the oil. <laughs> no, they're just oil giving bottles. away. You're no, just giving then, away good branding. Then I go into the front. And I give them the invoice for the shipment of Goyle they just Ooh. got. Mm -hmm. yes. I didn't even have to move it. That's right. And then oh I, I walk God. out of the front they door are, with like 20 they are grand. also your own, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, transportation yes. or, you know. Yes. They move your product because oh, they, they are. They handle the cost for me. Yeah, your own distributor. <laughs> yeah, distributor. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. just smart. That's smart business. Well. So I got, I got, I think I got a Sharpie. Uh, write it down. And then, uh, let me check. Let me make sure that Kraken has emailed me. There it is. I've got, now I have Gloyal for glowing on E. That's what it says. Oh yeah, I meant to say one. I was excited though. Oh, that's okay, that still counts. That still counts. Okay. Um, oh. I, again, I want everybody in chat to not record this podcast mm -hmm. and to delete any and, clips that were made. Uh, and if you, if you were just listening to it, uh, you know, I'll leave it to you, but do something that'll make you forget the last hour or two of your life. That's right, yeah. You know? um, maybe, quick, uh, maybe smoke some goyle. Just ingest enough goyle, yeah. and you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll be good to go. Yeah, smoke some, also, smoke some goyle. If, if you're going to remember one thing, remember what Kriken said he'd do to people that leak what we want. He will dox you. I, we will dox you, but he will dox you. But did he say that? So as, if you want to get doxed on the, the internet. the R&D department of the goyle company i can't be held responsible for the actions me or my team might do uh if our secrets get out that's right that's right and that's not really i am the only that. one that should be held responsible. that's a legally binding people. contract that kraken yep. just said so uh, everybody yeah. has uh just by hearing it has uh, agreed to it and signed a contract even though you didn't sign anything it's it's signed it's like a it's like a machinima contract when they uh -huh. <laughs> when they hand it to you this is not a joke by the way when they hand it to you it counts as you signing it <laughs> Yeah, it's like, by reading this, you have agreed to these terms. <laughs> That's not a joke. That really happened to Mishima. All right. Um, this is, <laughs> we've reached the end of the podcast. Um, and I want to say thank you, YouTube, for watching. Don't steal any of our ideas. Yeah, you better not. YouTube. Dox your ass. All right. Don't do it. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody.